At Mass General Brigham, we're offering gene therapy for Alzheimer's disease, for people with Parkinson's disease, and people with ALS. We're also offering the latest technology in cell-based treatments for those disorders and others. And everyone who comes here has an option for an experimental trial. My vision for neurotherapeutics at Mass General Hospital is that every patient that we care for comes here, has the best diagnostic care, and also knows about every treatment that might help their illness. I want our scientists and clinicians to be developing those treatments and bringing them for people, not just at Mass General, but all over the world. We try to provide every trial that has good science for our patients and then also compassionate use, access to those same medications for people who might not be eligible for those trials. We started this two years ago, and it's one of the things I'm most proud of. In 2018, I had the opportunity to enroll in a really exciting phase three clinical trial. I became thoroughly enamored with being part of the research process. So when in June of 2020, I was offered a spot in an expanded access protocol for a treatment called IC14, I jumped at the opportunity, both because I thought the science looked really fascinating and it would give me a way to continue to work really closely with the team at Mass General Hospital at the Healy Center. And I've now been coming into MGH every two weeks for almost three years. And I really look forward to coming in, not just because it's an opportunity to participate in the research, but it's also that I look forward to meeting with the people that I see every two weeks when I come in for my infusion. The Healy ALS platform trial is an innovative way to accelerate developing treatments for people with ALS. My vision for this platform trial is that we can rapidly screen the best treatments out there, uh, get rid of the duds, and bring forward the ones that work best for our patients. We opened the trial in 2020 and we tested four drugs so far. Of those four, two had positive signals of efficacy, and so we can move them forward to the next phase of testing. We have a network of over 70 sites across the US. We actually started with 50 sites, but then because of a demand from patients and physicians who wanted to participate, we added about 20 more. So right now we have this great network and we can reach people where they are. We opened an expanded access companion to the trial. And this companion program allows us to enroll patients who do not qualify for the trial so that they can get access to promising treatments and we can also learn more from their participation. It's exciting that with the platform trial, we can actually generate a lot of new knowledge about ALS. In addition to testing drugs, we're also contributing to ALS science because we are including uh, a novel design, novel biomarkers, and we are sharing all our learnings with colleagues so that we can improve not only our trial, but also uh, the research that others are doing. Traditionally, when we do an ALS trial, it takes a certain amount of time for a therapeutic to affect the biology in, in a person's body and then to manifest as a change in our traditional uh, sort of outcome measures. Um, biofluid biomarkers may change much more rapidly than a clinical outcome measure and tell us very quickly whether our drug is targeting the disease and successfully changing its biology. Digital biomarkers can act similar to our clinical biomarkers, but they may be more quantifiable and allow us uh, to make distinctions better about who's benefiting and by how much. The clinic at the Healy ALS Center at Massachusetts General Hospital offers multidisciplinary care for people with ALS, and that includes physical therapy, speech therapy, um, respiratory therapy, and we think that that's really critical, housing all of those people in the same office uh, so that patients can see them at the same time, and we can support them as well as we can with even a single visit um, at a time. We want to go beyond that and have innovative programs that support people with ALS. So that includes our Parenting at a Challenging Time program or PACT program for ALS, um, but also a house call program that we've developed. And the house call program was really developed understanding that ALS uh, takes from people the very thing that they need to get into our clinic, which is their mobility. And if we can, we can overcome that by sending experts from our clinic to people at home. The goal of the house call program is to reduce medical isolation and bring the expertise of our clinic to people in their home. The main thing that keeps me going now is that if 
all of the time I spend here can help answer even a single question that can lead researchers to a better answer for ALS even one day sooner so one patient and that patient's family doesn't have to go through what I'm going through and my family is going through. It's worth every minute of the time I spend here. My hopes for the future for ALS is that we are stopping the illness, that we're reversing it, and then we're preventing it. And I think this is possible. This was an extraordinary year for people with ALS. We have two new FDA approved drugs, another one under review. We have the first platform trial. The speed of progress is, is immense. I'm also extremely hopeful that this is gonna be true for everybody living with ALS, that we're gonna be able to stop the progression, reverse it, and then ultimately prevent it from starting in the first place.